What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I want to show you this new jailbreak tweak called Upscale that allows you to run older devices at newer device resolution. So for instance, I can use this iPhone 5S here and run it at an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus resolution, which will obviously make icons and things like that much smaller and give you just more real estate to work with. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I've already installed the tweak and you can find it on a special beta repo and I'll have that in the description of the video and on the post on iDownload blog. But once I have, ins have installed the tweak, all you do is you scroll down here in, th in the settings, you find upscale here in the preferences, you tap on upscale, and then you see several settings here. Uh, you see the iPhone 5S, you see the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. You also see the 4 and 4S, but that's not currently working. And then you see some custom uh, resolutions, the X and Y axis right there. It isn't really recommended that you do that right now. It's probably best to just stick with the uh, three canned resolutions that are available to you, the 5S and the 5 and the 6 and the 6 Plus. So what we're gonna do in this video, just for demonstration purposes, is to show you what it looks like with the iPhone 6. So all you do is you tap on the resolution that you wanna choose. The phone will respring. Uh, let me turn the brightness up a little bit so you guys can see that. And once you respring, you can see immediately that you're running at the iPhone 6 resolution. Gives you uh, smaller icons. To me, it actually looks a little bit better. Uh, the icons don't look so cartoonishly big, uh, but it's probably just, you know, me using this for a few hours today and getting used to this, this look of the iPhone 6 resolution on the iPhone 5S. So let's just open up some apps here. Let's open up the settings app. And you can see right off the bat, there's just more things on screen at once, courtesy of this additional resolution provided by Upscale. Um, and other apps like, for instance, uh, Instagram, you can see um, there's just more on screen at once. Without Upscale enabled for the iPhone 6, you'll notice not as much real estate, not as much stuff on screen at once. Uh, and it really doesn't look that bad. It actually looks fairly good. You would think, oh, it's gonna look too small running at the larger iPhone 6's resolution. But again, the iPhone 6 is only 0.7 inches uh, bigger than, than the iPhone 5S as far as screen size is concerned. So you shouldn't expect too drastic of a change. Granted, it is bigger. I um, mean, it does look a lot bigger in person. Uh, but it's not a huge, like just drastic gargantuan change, like uh, going from the 5S to the 6 Plus, for instance. Uh, let's open up, let's see, the phone app here. And there's the dialer. You can see additional screen real estate, but things aren't too small, whereas you can't actually interface with them. That's, that's the nice thing about that. And that's what I really recommend if you're gonna use this tweak you're gonna to wanna to use the iPhone 6 resolution if you're using a four inch device like the iPhone 5 or the 5S. You probably don't wanna go up to the six plus resolution. I'm gonna show you why that is. Although it does have one nice perk. So I'm gonna choose the iPhone 6 plus resolution here and it's gonna respring. And once we come back up, you can see it almost looks like an iPad, like a little iPad in your hands. Um, the, the touch zones or the tap zones are extremely small. Uh, and it's really just hard to tap on an app icon uh, to get it to load up because the app icons are so tiny. Um, and as you can see here, the interface, for instance, like the settings app, is just extremely small. Although you can see tons of stuff on the screen at once, it's not very practical because you really have to concentrate to tap on exactly what you wanna tap on. But this does come with one benefit, watch this. Yes, you get the landscape mode on the home screen uh, courtesy of this added real estate. So basically what's, what's happening here is that the uh, iOS sees that you're running at the iPhone 6 Plus resolution. So it's like, okay, kick in the home screen landscape mode on this device because obviously this is an iPhone 6 Plus. Obviously it's not, but um, that's what iOS thinks apparently. And you get the landscape mode on the uh, on the home screen. Let's see if you get the added keyboard as well. Let's go ahead and fire up the keyboard here and see if you get the iPhone 6 keyboard. Probably not, but it's worth trying out. Looks like you don't even get the keyboard at all. Let's try, let's try opening a new note. Yeah, you're not even getting a keyboard. So probably not the resolution you wanna go with. That is a definite downside, definite caveat. Uh, let's try a browser 
and see what we get here. Um, so you do get the keyboard there, but that's sort of, I guess, the normal size keyboard. And the assets on the browser look a little um, normal, look like a normal size, basically. Um, but everywhere else, things look really, really small. Uh, you're not going to want, want to run the 6 Plus resolution on a um, iPhone 5S, or maybe even not a uh, iPhone 6. I've been seeing problems on the Reddit thread about this jailbreak tweak um, uh, regarding using the iPhone 6 Plus resolution on the iPhone 6 even. You may want to use a custom resolution. We'll have a link to that thread in the post on iDownload blog as well for you to investigate more deeper um, uh, a more deeper look into upscale and what it does. But this is an extremely impressive jailbreak tweak, folks. Um, I do recommend if you're going to use this, if you're going to run this on a four inch device like the iPhone 5 or 5S, that you use the iPhone 6 resolution and don't try to force it or shoehorn that iPhone uh, 6 plus resolution on such a small device. But as it is with the six, it looks really good. You don't get the landscape mode, but it's a really awesome jailbreak tweak to try out. Head over to Cydia. I'll have the repo link in the description. Um, and then you can add that for yourself and then download the package. Again, it is called upscale. You see right here. Um, and it basically allows you to use any resolution on iOS. Let me know what you guys think about upscale down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.